Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G51, and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before we begin, I'll mention that we will need a SIM card for this with a pen. That's kind of why this is here. So, there is our locked device. Uh, as you can see, I can uh, verify it using the pattern or using Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, we can just pop in our SIM card. At least that's what we're gonna start off with. Now, I'll clarify, this SIM card is just a regular card. The only thing is it has a pin, SIM pin on it, and that's about it. Which I believe basically every card comes with a SIM pin by default. So yeah. Now, uh, furthermore, if I remember correctly, we don't even need to know that pin because we just pop it in and then pop it out. So, now that it's in, boop, now it's out. And on our lock screen, because once you pop out the card, it gives you a lock screen, you get this thing. And you want to just drag it down. Once you let go, it pulls down your notifications and additionally gives you this manage I uh, option right here. Once you click on it, we want to then select see all from last seven days. And then we're going to tap on this right here, most recent, and you want to select uh, all apps. And we're looking for YouTube, so it's going to be right at the bottom. Then click on the icon itself and select open. Once it opens up, uh, you want to then, I should probably mention that right before, uh, you do need to have connection to internet because we will need it. So anyway, from here you're going to tap on the account icon and then navigate into settings, about, and then Google privacy policy which opens up Chrome browser, so let's select accept, no thanks, and then right at the top you want to tap on the field and type in hard reset that info slash bypass. There we go. And here you want to scroll down, select settings, and then select accessibility right here. And then you want to choose accessibility many and enable it, allow. And it gives us a message that to open it up, we're going to use two finger swipe up. So got it. Once you have enabled this, we're going to now go back and we're going to navigate to apps and notifications. Right over here. <clears throat> And we're going to select see all 41 apps. And we're going to tap on three dots and select also show system. Now, once you see the system applications, you want to select Android setup at the beginning. Select for stop and OK. Go back and let's see if there's another one. Oh, it looks like this is the only one. So once you have disabled uh, this, which is the uh, setup, you're going to scroll down to Google Play services. There we go. Google Play services right over here. And once you find it, click on disable and then for a stop. Now I'm going to mute the device because it's going to give me that annoying uh, ringtone because it has no connection to Google Play services. So it just kind of like rings every time it tries to connect to it. So once you've uh, dis disabled this, we're now going to simply just back out. Okay, so from here, let's select skip, accept and continue. From here, you want to select don't copy. And this is where we begin, uh, in a way, the more complicated bypass process, though 
don't worry, it's not that complicated. So as you can see, normally this is the page where it would just check the Google serv servers and tell you that the device is locked and simply you need to provide the verification. But now because we have disabled Google, uh, the Google services, it has nowhere to connect to. So it just glitches out and continuously looks for uh, update. So from here, we're gonna do that two finger swipe up. I'm gonna select assistant. This shows up usually a settings right here. Settings, any moment, come on. There we go, settings. You click on that. Once you click on that, it opens Google Play services and we're gonna see how many times it takes me. There we go. And as you've seen for a split second, there was an enable button. So that's what you wanna press right there. Now, as you can probably guess right now, uh, this is gonna take you several tries to get it. Uh, this is completely random. So it might take you just like two tries. It might take you 200. Um, so just be patient and keep on trying this. All you really need to do is just press the assistant settings and then enable, and that's all. I believe the faster you do it, kind of like start spamming the system, it might slow down a little bit and give you the option to actually finally enable it. There we go. As you can see, uh, it's now enabled. Once it's enabled, it actually won't close this page, so you will need to go back once. And as you see, it's just kind of now going to go whoop, to the next page. And from here, we can finish up the setup. So just skip through most of it. We just glitched through it right now, so the device is still not technically unlocked. So I'm just skipping through everything that I can. So there we go, we just finished up the setup. Now from here you want to navigate into settings, scroll all the way down to system, select advanced, reset options and then tap on erase all data factory reset confirm it and then tap on it once again now this will perform a factory reset of the device as the name would imply and this will bring you back to the setup screen once it's completed it takes about two to three minutes to finish up so once it's finished you can then go through the setup screen uh, set up your device however you like uh, it will be fully unlocked at that point now the reason you want to do this last step that i'm showing you right now by pressing this is because by performing a, a factory reset of the device through settings, it will remove things like uh, Google accounts that were previously on this device and also screen locks. So virtually doing this fully unlocks the device by some stupid logic. So uh, yeah, uh, so press the button. Uh, I'm not gonna do it just because honestly, once you press it uh, or once I would press it, it goes through a reset of the device, which basically nothing really happens till it's completed. And then you get setup screen which the device will be fully unlocked at that point, so just go through the setup however you want. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. So yeah, that basically finish up, finishes up the bypass uh, of Google on this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.